congratulations on the show. Thank you. It's really, really a good show. I'm in terms of authenticity, in terms of exploring East LA, which has a lot of history, as you can see on the show, a lot of it which is not around anymore, but not forgotten. Um, I liked how um, the characters are created here by the actors and you in terms of they're so emotionally complex that each episode you sort of get to unveil another layer. Yes. And uh, how was well, how that, the process of writing those characters out? I sort of looked at this like a play, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a playwright, mm -hmm. and, um, and that's what happens in a play, right? You just, it's like an onion. Mm -hmm. And the We Got Six was like, too little and a lot at the same time, you know. Like mm. we got to, we got, to, we got this three hours to, to kind of do a pilot. It's like a three-hour pilot in a way, you know. Right. And and you're hopefully you're surprised, like you said, in each episode a little bit by like, oh, Lynn, I didn't know you were. Oh, I didn't know you were that. Like, cause you have an idea of Lynn maybe in the first episode, and right. then you're like, that's horrible. I didn't know you could get more horrible. And then you're like, oh no, you're catching yourself. Like, so like you, it, it, uh, every character should have that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, the, the the way some characters are perceived, like Eddie, you might read her uh, as a certain thing. Oh, that she looks a certain thing. And it's like, she becomes the heart of the of the neighborhood and of the bar and of the show, you know? Absolutely. So like, um, it, that, that is by design, but also, it was easy because we just hung on to real life. We were like, if we just base this on real life, then we can, you know. We can tell a great story. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it all feels very real and it feels very specific. At the same time, it sort of speaks to the climate the United States is going in right now, where gentrific gentrification is sort of taking over a lot of neighborhoods to right. where there's a Starbucks on every other block, you yeah. know. Um, Pilsen in Chicago and yeah. Portland, Queens, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And um, in, in terms of researching East LA, um, what was, was there one thing that really surprised you the most in your research? No, uh, because I was instantly, I felt instantly at home and it instantly felt like Pilsen in Chicago, which is where, you know, I, I've lived in Chicago for the past 15 years. Mm -hmm. So like there was a commonality to it that I was like, oh, I see. Okay, we import Mexico a lot to, to neighborhoods in the United States, you know, mm -hmm. um, and it just there's a lot of similarities to those those places where we have imported our country, you know, and we sort of navigate that hybridity of being Americans, mm -hmm. which these girls are Americans, you know, and uh, Mexicans, and to become this uh, um, a Mexican American place that can only exist there. But the common the the elements are all there, you know. So Absolutely. it was as soon as I, you know. I mean, and I had been, of course I had been, but I was, when you're building something for for an area, you are looking at it from a different lens, you know? You're like, shoot, I have to, like, respect and honor this area. So, like, it was a different lens. And it was, uh, but it was instantly, um, the people are familiar, you know? They're, the, they're like I said, I um, we are in areas like this all around the country. Um, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I've been talking to the actors a lot in terms of how they created their characters because, like I said, they're very complex, and they said they would, didn't get all the episode scripts right away. Yeah. I mean, did you do that intentionally? Did you want them to know only so much about their characters before they started shooting I didn't episodes? think about it that much. I'm more like when they were there ready, you know? Right. <laughs> it was, like, more, like, practical. Um, but, like, I, I, I'm not one of those showrunners that doesn't tell them what's coming up, you know? So, uh, so I did talk to them about it. It was like, prepare yourself. You're gonna be doing this in this episode, or prepare yourself. You're gonna be doing a horrible thing. So they they sort of knew it's just that they didn't have the scripts, but um, but the story was was drawn. It's just that we had to like perfect the scripts, you know. Right. Well, it sounds like the actors are very open to whatever yes. changes came their way, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um, I mean, some actors they want to know kind of in advance the overall yeah. arc of the character, but it, in this series it seems to work out for them in terms of right. what the kind of person their character is. Right. 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 Yeah. And um, in terms of, uh, I mean. I, I love that you're able to shoot this in Los Angeles. I, I mean, anything is We could is shoot it anywhere else. You I really mean, could, yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, because I, East LA, I don't get around to visiting much, but you see the history just like from the mm -hmm. buildings and everything. Well, the name of La Chinita, that mm -hmm. tells you the history that, that there were uh, Japanese, it was a Japanese neighborhood, mm -hmm. and they, the, but you would have to know it, but it's being honored there. Uh, it was a Japanese neighborhood, and the uh, when the camps, you know, when they took them to internment camps, they, um, they they left and you say the grandfather bought this place from a uh, you know a, a Japanese person. I mean all of it is in there. It should be because we're, we're trying to honor the whole area. You know. 
Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, you certainly have done that. Well, thank you. Because there's always so, something new to learn about L.A. every day. Yes. <laughs> it's so, there's been so many lives lived here. Do you know what I mean? Like, in every neighbor, never, neighborhood is like layers and layers of you excavate, you know? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. There's a beautiful shelf uh, in Boyle Heights. And you're like, oh, that's right. There were Jew it was a Jewish neighborhood, too. Do you know what I mean? Right. And this beautiful shell is empty, and it's just there, you know? And it's like, 